welcome to day 8 of the I will do it November challenge and today's workout is going to be a dumbbell full body strength workout. Now I know a lot of us may not have dumbbells at home and that's completely fine because I'm going to be showing you exercises using the water bottle as well and I'll actually make the beginner version be with a water bottle and I'll place it right up here for every single exercise. Now in this workout, I have 10 unique exercises, some combo moves uh, and some uh, just basic weightlifting movements and each of these exercises will be repeated three times before moving on to the next one. The reason we are repeating these exercises three times is not just for fun, it is basically to establish that movement pattern, to learn that exercise and to fatigue that specific muscle group out with that particular movement and then move on to the next movement. This is typically how muscle is built and hypertrophy is best established when we repeat exercises. Now in this workout, you, I will be using two pairs of dumbbells, one 10 pound dumbbells and the other one will be a 15 pound dumbbells, but you can use your bottle of water and you can also have another bottle of water with less water in it to make it your lighter weight. No excuses. Believe me when I say this, consistency is established when you show up every day and you don't put excuses in front of you. That brings me basically to my mindset tip for today. And my mindset tip for today is journal your intentions every single morning. Now I know a lot of us may not like to write our thoughts down or you may feel this is a futile exercise but what helped me stay focused on my journey and mitigate distractions and not get caught up into small things is to set my intention every single morning and the thing is that your intention doesn't need to change every day it can be the same thing it can be i want to get a good workout in i want to eat clean meals i want to focus on my work i want to fulfill my responsibilities today to the best of my capability it can be something as simple as that or something as simple as today i will eat dinner before 7 pm just an example or today I will drink 8 liters of water. It depends on you and it's completely person specific which is why your journey is so so personal and custom made to you. Now for today's workout if you feel like you're sore from yesterday or you want to quit midway I'd highly recommend to perform the same exercises body weight so just leave your dumbbells on the side and continue working body weight. There are no jumping movements at all in this workout and I really, really hope you enjoy it. Let's smash it, guys. You can do anything for 30 minutes, right? Let's get on the mat and let's kill it. Okay, guys, so we're going to get started with the first exercise, and that is going to be your asymmetric high squat. So, in this exercise, what I want you to do is you will be having a split stance position like this. Your feet up and are angled at perpendicular to each other and you will hold your dumbbells up like this and as you squat down you will feel a stretch in your quads and in your glutes and your hamstrings as well as we are basically attacking two different three different muscles here something like that right so in the asymmetric stance we will do two reps on one leg and then we will move on to the other side now remember that when you're squatting, you want to go as deep as possible. At the same time, you want to take care of your own fitness levels and go as high or low that's comfortable for you. Let's get started. So for this exercise, I'm going to be using my 10 pound weights and I'm going to be doing we're going to be repeating this entire exercise three times before moving on to the next one. So let's get started. Make sure to squeeze your core in at all times when you're doing this exercise and push through your heel. One of my favorite combo squat moves it really hits all your leg muscles 
perfect, perfect warm up. Moving on to the next exercise, which is going to be your kettlebell swing lunge. Now for my beginners, what you can do is you can basically just hold your bottle of water and simply do reverse lunges slowly on the left side. And for the next exercise, we're going to be doing on the right side. That's it. Now I'm going to be using my 10 pound dumbbells and for my more intermediate advanced folks, this exercise is basically, you're doing a kettlebell swing and a reverse lunge at the same time. Firstly, we're gonna be doing it on the left leg only. So it's gonna be something like this. So you see, you are basically uh, using your hip flexors to swing forward with the momentum and at the same time, using your left leg to stabilize you as you move your right leg behind. You should feel a deep, deep burn in your left leg, in your quads, in your glutes, in your hamstring. And the reason is we are basically using the glute and the hamstrings and your quads of your left leg to stabilize you. Kettlebell swings are really an advanced move. And if you feel uncomfortable doing them or if you feel an arch in your lower back, you can just do reverse lunges just like this. Right? Let's get into the workout. One important tip is to not rush through this movement. Go at your own pace. Now we're going to repeat this exercise on your right leg. So kettlebell swing with reverse lunge. So in this case, your right leg is stable, supporting you. And your left leg I 
I like to keep my gaze in front of me to avoid my back from arching. Remember, your upper body will try to compensate to stabilize you as you're doing the swing. we have the single leg deadlift with a knee drive so in this exercise what you're going to do is for the left leg your left leg will be stable in front of you your right leg will be bent you lower down your dumbbells keeping your back straight 
push your glutes out feel a deep stretch in your hamstrings and then you're going to do a knee drive so your right leg is firmly planted on the ground giving you all the support and stability that you need these exercises will help you ease out any muscle imbalances and basically help you build balance strength so for my beginners use a bottle of water right and it's going to be like this so feel a deep stretch and then knee drive so you can also hold the bottle in whichever hand comfortable for you i prefer to hold it on the same side as my stabilization leg so this gives me free room to move my other leg up in a knee drive position right For this exercise, I will be basically using my 15 pound dumbbells and let's get started. So my right leg is stabilizing me with my left leg popped up, keeping my back flat. Remember to squeeze your lats together because when we are not looking for a rounded back, it's very dangerous for your spine. You want to keep your back up tight and only bend at the hips. On my Indian summer, we are green under the sun. We do our best to hide. Innocence fading away as we learn the truth and we'll be anything that we wanna be gonna get what's coming anyway so take me away some other place don't want away moving on to the left side now for the left leg your left leg is going to be your stabilizing leg and your right side is going to be the one that's going to drive up so same thing keep your back flat pop your right leg back and dig your heels into the ground as you bend into your deadlift and drive up the drive up is basically here to destabilize you and and activate your stabilization leg to help you control the imbalance it doesn't truly have any jump or any hopping motion I typically avoid using jumping movements with dumbbells because it really adds a whole other level of uh, danger, <laughs> you know, to your body. You may hurt yourself, especially if you're a beginner.
You don't care what people say, people say, people say I'm going crazy for you, baby Don't know how you're making me feel this way, what can I say? That's what I like about you So next up is the dumbbell push press and for the push press we want to use our quads, that's your thighs and your hip flexors to give you the push motion from the ground to get the dumbbells up. So you can definitely go heavier on these and so I'm going to be going 15 pounds on both of these. You hold them up right here as you push up. So you're basically pushing up. Now if you don't have a heavier pair of dumbbells and you know if you're using a bottle of water, bottle of water like a beginner would then basically you can hold your bottle of water like this and just push up so as you push up push up with force when you're using force you're basically using all your muscles to generate that energy up it's going to be like a pop so we are not doing this right we're basically doing it as a pop so it's a pop right you're going to push press straight up so let's get started so you have to hold your dumbbells in a neutral grip position you know they are perpendicular to you and just like that now squeeze your core together tight together to avoid arching your back so a wrong form would be where you're doing this the moment you do this you put your spine under a lot a lot of tension so make sure to squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes really tight so everything is tight down there. Your spine is in a neutral position and pop up. Feel free to use your legs to give you that extra push. Don't forget to breathe.
side right next to me we have the push up to renegade row and for this exercise we are going to be using you can use a mat if you're a beginner or if you need to kneel down after you know after a couple of sets of these and you don't need a bottle of water for this one as a beginner what you're going to do is you're basically going to push up and then you're going to go into a row so push up go into a row right this is for my beginners. Now, I'm gonna be using my 10 pound dumbbells to help me with this exercise. Renegade rows are one of the perfect, perfect moves to help you strengthen your upper body and your core at the same time. There's no way you can do this move without... Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Sit, boy. Sit. Good boy. Sit, sit, sit. I like to keep a wider foot stance to help me with the row and that's completely fine. So we're going to get into a push up and then we're going to row. I like to keep my dumbbells a little bit wider, right? A little bit wider than my shoulders. So it helps me uh, push my chest between them into my renegade row. And you can also completely dish the dumbbells and just do regular press up. That's totally fine. dumbbell drag now this is the only targeted core exercise in this entire workout and in this workout what you're going to do is you're going to be in a high plank position just like this 
and if you're a beginner you will have a bottle of water so get into a high plank like this squeeze your core tight and drag the bottle from one side to another the lower you drag the bottle the more you will activate your obliques because your body will have to do that much work so instead of going just left to right i would do diagonal drags so something like this I'm going to be using my 15 pound dumbbell for this one but I may switch to my lighter weight depending on how I feel that's completely fine remember to squeeze your core tight together no part of your body should move excepting for the arm your core should basically help you stabilize yourself and manage the movement that comes about so yep 15 pound is definitely challenging I can actually feel it in my core, in my obliques, every time I make this move. Whew. This town's so lame, I'm feeling so wired. It's 4 a.m., I'm not even tired. We're in your car, we can drive away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all Next, we have the single dumbbell squat thrusters. And if you're a beginner, you can use a bottle of water. And essentially, you're going into a deep squat with goblet stance, and on your way back up, power up, right? The bottle or your dumbbell should, should actually want to fly up in the air. It should be that much power. So you use your core, your glutes, your hamstrings, and just power up. On the way back up, 
Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Just like that. So now for this, you can either use a single dumbbell or two dumbbells. I'm gonna be using a single dumbbell. I'm gonna be using my 10 pounder. Remember that this exercise basically not only works your shoulders, your core, but your glutes, your hamstrings, your legs, your calves, every single thing, because that's where the power comes from. So the power to go all the way down to up is not easy. It doesn't just come from your shoulders. It comes from your whole body, like a whoosh, something like that. Let's do it, guys. Next up, we have the reverse lunge with the dumbbell twist. Now, in this exercise, what we're gonna do is, you're gonna be holding your bottle of water, and if you are lunging, if your right leg is lunging backwards, then basically you're gonna be twisting in the opposite direction. Again, to activate your core muscles, stabilization muscles, put that extra bit of rotation around your hip flexors, so they get into play to help you from not falling over, basically. So the heavier weight that you use here, the harder your glutes will need to work to stabilize you from not tipping over. Reverse lunge to twist. So it has to be one fluid motion. So you need to, the moment you lunge back, you need to twist. So something like that. This is exactly why I have three repeats of every exercise because some of these combo moves are not easy to learn and I don't want you to spend precious time trying to learn them, pause the video. And that's why I have it right after. 
So this would be the way to do it. And my beginners can either go ahead and rotate the bottle of water, or you can just do very basic reverse lunges, just like this, if you can't do the rotation. So for this exercise, I'm gonna be again using my 10 pound dumbbells and let's get it. So it's gonna be an alternate twist on the left and a twist on the right. exercise for today is going to be your upper body combo it's going to be front raises into Arnold press so for my beginners if you have just one bottle of water what you can do is you can get into three front raises and then into an Arnold press or a front press like this Remember to push yourself. This is the last exercise. I know you got this. I know it's difficult, but believe me when I say this, you know that toned, sculpted look that you're looking for? Yep, that does not come without using resistance. Now I'm gonna be using my 10 pound dumbbells for this one and you know there is absolutely no shame in using lighter weights but all that matters with dumbbell movements is that your form is right and that you're able to endure it so in these 50 seconds try to get in as many reps as you can there is no pressure on the number of reps so let's get it so we're going to do front raises one two three 
And then we're gonna straight away go into your Arnold press. Use your core to stabilize you. We're gonna do three reps of each and then move on. guys enjoyed this workout you know even with no jumping movements I'm really sweating and that basically tells you that resistance training may not show you that many calories burnt on your fitness tracker but actually you are using a lot of your glycogen stores which are there in your muscles and that basically helps build that lean muscle that the toned look that you're looking for remember ladies if you're doing this workout don't feel afraid to go heavy on your weights you will never ever ever be able to get as bulky as your male friend would because they simply have the right hormonal balance to build muscle fast however women don't have that kind of hormonal balance and i personally have been trying to gain muscle for such a long time but <laughs> i don't really have that much volume i also want you to remember that this is a journey so even if you can't do every exercise it's totally fine you know you're going to get better with time the more time you invest into fitness, the more fitness will give you back tenfold, right? And that basically brings me to my nutrition tip. And this is a tip that I personally try to implement and I've seen awesome results with respect to my hunger cues. So if you are always hungry all the time, right, even at night, even during the day, then it's important to understand that your hunger cues are regulated by your meal timings. So one of the easiest tweaks for me is to stop eating four hours before bed. So if you sleep at say midnight, then you need to stop eating your meals by say 8 to 8.30 p.m., right? If you sleep at 1 a.m., then you can stop eating at 9 p.m., something like that. However, it's okay if you can't always stick to this, right? If you've had a long day at work and you know, you know, if you're really hungry at night because you couldn't eat properly during the day, it's totally, totally fine to kind of make an exception. This is just a general guideline. Um, doing this will help you feel hungry at the right time next day morning and throughout the next day. Basically reset your hunger cues 
and it will also lead to less bloating and more regular digestion. And these are very important when it comes to maintaining your fitness, your goals, your, you know, you want to not be bloated all the time and gives you more motivation to continue on this fitness journey. So I hope you guys find this workout useful. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you've been here eight days straight and I would love to congratulate you because trust me when I say that consistency is so difficult to implement but I really hope that this 30 day November challenge helps you establish just that. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, see you for day nine.